para lo que sea, 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 viva la revolución, viva la patria nuestra sola, viva la patria nuestra sola y marchamos con ella. Viva! Oh, the president sat down. Viva! 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 President. Yeah, that's the president, Diaz Canel, that just sat down with the students. Amazing. He's sitting here with us. Imagine a president in any other country feeling safe enough to come in and sit down with the students, listen to a concert. That's him in the orange shirt right ahead of me. They put a red um, handkerchief around him, which is the symbol of this encampment. Red kerchiefs. Imagine the fact that there's a guy with a uh, rainbow flag right behind him. And you can see right behind him is a guy with a rainbow flag to represent the gay community in Cuba. the blockade. It's truly beautiful. So here we are, President of Cuba, Miguel Diaz Canel, sitting down on the concrete. Uh, because it was raining outside, we were outside, we came in under this shelter. And he's sitting, listening to the concert with the youth of Cuba, representatives of the youth who want to defend their country, their revolution, their sovereignty, their independence. 
look at right now, right now he's sitting there talking to the leader leadership of the of this movement. Remember, this is a grassroots movement that sprung out of their own thoughts and their own desires to counteract the uh, the corruption of the of that uh, U.S. backed uh, July 11 thing. The dissident movement that has received so much support from the United States, both in money as well as tremendous propaganda and these young people said we can't just sit by and let this happen and not let it go uncontested so it's a grassroots initiative and the president heard about it came to show his support on a day when supposedly uh, there is a big dissident movement so the seating order is this the leadership is sitting around the president right now, the gay rights movement of the movement for families. There's, uh, and then the people behind it are the people that are soaking wet from last night's rain that were spent the entire night out in the rain, out in the day, celebrating this movement right now. And it's not the, the, the people that spent the most money or did the biggest thing for, for his party. It's, it's amazing. Yes, it poured all night long, and these young people stayed outside. Now it's been two nights, uh, a 48-hour encampment, to show their support for what they call their process, their revolution. They want to make the changes they want to make. They don't want any outside interference. And it's really quite amazing, quite beautiful to see. So here you have a section of the Cuban youth. We'll come back on when the president talks. But I just want you to see that this resolution is actually very strong. That there are young people who are determined to defend this process. But the president actually is well loved among the people. The fact that he can come into this group without a million guards around him. Look, what there is around him is media. Uh, but uh, and to just sit quietly there in the midst of this crowd uh, is quite remarkable. So we will come back when the, uh, well, we'll stay here for a while. It's a great music going on. Very enthusiastic crowd. I wish more people in the United States could see and understand how much genuine support there is for this process. Cubans are really extraordinary people. They told us that the word resistance must have started here in Cuba because they've been resisting 60 years. The huge, rich neighbor of the United States and doing it successfully. And here they are, while the leaders of the U.S., including Joe Biden, want to keep strangling this country and making people miserable. Sure, their lives have gotten very hard and there's been a lot of scarcity, especially during this pandemic. But as you can see, there are people who are resisting and will continue to resist. And in this particular group right here, it's almost all young people. President singing with everybody else. There he is clapping right in front of us with the orange shirt on and the red kerchief which symbolizes this movement called Panuelos Rojos.
como músico cubano, de hacer un aporte a, a, digamos que ese es el corazón de la gente, al alma de la gente. Y pequeño aporte y pequeño aporte va a ver as John just wrote in here can you imagine a US president sitting down on the floor on the concrete with the people and listening to a concert together with the, the young people pretty extraordinary it's a beautiful sight I think I be, might be losing, uh, using up all my data here on this live stream, so I think I will stop, and if the president speaks, I'll put it on again. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're inspired by the spirit of the Cuban youth.